Hey guys, it's Elizabeth here with a new video for you, and in this video I'm going to be doing 10 things I wish I knew before moving to Sydney, Australia. So if you guys didn't know, about 9 months ago, back in July, I moved to Sydney, Australia to attend school here. And I've been here, I can't believe it's been 9 months. It's going by so quick it's insane but basically I have been picking up on quite a few things that people do here or that's just like normal natural that I had no idea would happen before I came here and so I would like to share my insights with all of you if you are from Australia or planning on going to Australia anytime soon maybe some of these things will be funny to you or maybe you can relate to them or you'll see them and pick up on them and just kind of give yourself a little giggle when you're on about wandering the streets of Australia. I don't know. But anyways, this is 10 things I wish I knew before moving to Sydney, Australia. So the first thing is the sun is different in Australia. If you didn't know this already, there's a hole in the ozone layer over Australia or something insane like that, but basically the sun is so strong. It like hits you like nowhere you've ever been before and it like blisters people who would never get burnt or tan before like it will blister them so you have to be super sun protected like all the time and it's really funny because all the kids here whenever they go to like daycare or something they have to wear little sun hats whenever they go outside it's so cute insert picture right here because they like are not allowed to have like be direct access to the sun it's pretty funny and it's really cute that being said if you're planning on coming to australia aloe vera and sunscreen Number two, Australia, well Sydney, Australia gets so cold. When I first moved here, it was winter time, it was in July, also the seasons are reversed if you didn't know that. Um, and so yeah, I moved here in July and it was freezing cold. And another thing is the houses don't have insulation and the heat is really expensive. So you better go invest in some heating blankets hot water bottles, space heaters, all that good stuff because it gets freezing and you would not expect it. So right now we are currently in April, it's April 1st when I'm filming this so that's pretty cool. Hopefully it's not too late after I, that I put this up, I don't know, I'm kind of busy right now. But anyways, it's April and so that means it is fall here in Australia and so what I have noticed is that fall doesn't really mean fall like in America or England or back wherever you're from or where you're not from. Um, like there's no leaves falling off the trees, everything is still super alive. Basically it just means that it rains a lot. Like guys seriously, it rains 24-7 and I don't, it's the weirdest thing ever but it just is pouring down rain. I swear there should just be like a hot season, cold season and then a rainy season but I didn't create this system so I don't know. Number four, Australians shorten everything so your name like if my name is elizabeth i have been called l e liz lizzie I don't like last two by the way so i'm gonna give you a really quick australian language lesson so arvo means afternoon this arvo or avo toast avocado toast macca's mcdonald's um brekkie breakfast I could just, I could go on because they shorten legitimately everything. It's crazy. If you're moving here and you have a long name or even if you're visiting and you know locals, they're going to shorten your name. Just be expecting it. Maybe have like planned out names that you're okay with in your head or something because it will get shortened. <laughs> so within the nine months that I have lived here, it's really funny because I haven't seen any massive spiders personally. Um, inside my house that is. Outside you see spiders like all the time. Um, but some of my friends have seen like massive poisonous spiders and I'm so lucky I'm not one of those. But one of the main things here is cockroaches. They are everywhere all the time. The heat just like draws them inside and the water also like they attract to it and they're inside. It doesn't matter if you have a thousand bottles of bug spray and you get your house sprayed like three times a month, like it's not gonna matter because cockroaches are insane and they're everywhere here. So one thing that is also along the lines of Australians talking, people here tend to say things really fast and in one breath. So like one for example is, we'll be right. Like what, what does that even mean? We'll be right, we'll be all right, we'll be right. Or how are you going? 
They say how you going instead of how are you doing or like how what's up. They say how you going. But they go really fast. How are you going? Like one breath, it's so weird. <laughs> Number seven, when I moved here, I really realized that everything is like a perfect mix of England and America. So if you haven't been to England or America, you probably wouldn't pick up on it as much, but like when I first moved here, it was crazy. Like the houses, the streets, like it's like America and England just combined perfectly, which I think is hilarious because those are both of my like closest homes. So why not move to Australia, right? Eight is mostly everyone is in tune with their fashion choices. So here I've noticed everyone is super stylish. That's definitely the way it was in England too. Um, European places like that just are super into with their style and so is Australia. So everybody has really nice clothes. They dress super nice all the time and I love it. I think it's great. So number nine, along the lines of what I just said, there are a lot of words that I used in England that aren't used in America that they use here. So, or even the way you say words, like um, in England we said herbal essences instead of herbal essences. So here they would say herbal or zebra, zebra. Um, in England and Australia they say zebra. Then just like everyday words like chips for like french fries and crisps for chips and like the boot for the back of your car. So they use a lot of words that we use in England, which I think is really nice and it makes me feel like I'm at home, so that's good. Number 10, everything is super overpriced here. So no matter what you're getting, it's probably gonna be a little more expensive than what you're used to if you're from a different place. Um, I know like in America, you could probably get um, like a burger for, like at a good restaurant for about $7. Here it will be about $14. So obviously thinking about the exchange rate and stuff like that, but everything is super expensive here, especially in Sydney, not just like Australia overall. I'm not sure about the other places, but um, Sydney is one of the top cities in the world to live in, or the top most expensive cities in the world to live in. So everything is just way more expensive than you expect to pay for it if you are coming from out of Sydney. Um, so yeah, I thought that was really interesting, which isn't really fun because I'm a college student who wants to travel the world. And I don't really want to spend money on things that don't need money to be spent on. Anyways, that's it for my 10 things I wish I knew before moving to Sydney, Australia. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and to click the subscribe button wherever it might be. I can't wait to see you next time back on my channel. Don't forget all of my social media links are down below, including my Instagram, which is right here. It's lovely, I know. It's beautiful. Go follow it if you'd like. I answer most of my DMs and comments and all that Drea's. So yeah, go check it out. And I will see you next time on Elizabeth Beauty.